four, we know that the constant proportionality is equal to 0.69, correct? Which means it said a row of values is missing in the table, correct? Which number of pounds of grapes and the total cost of grapes could be <coughs> inserted into the graph? So you have to work out choices A, B, C, D, and E to tell me which one. Now, one thing I want you to understand, and Sakari already asked it, it says select each correct response. On your test, if that comes up, nine times out of ten, it's going to be at least two correct. If it says select one that applies, then sometimes it could be one or it could be multiple. But if it says select each correct response, that means nine times out of ten, at least two of these are going to be correct. Sometimes it can be three. Oh, the seven cents each. A is one of them. A is one. Oh, I got that one. I thought E was one of them. Oh, my God. I think it's A and B. It's not A and B. I think it's A and B. A and B? A and B. A and B. I say C. A and B. So let's work out C. Can you say that we... 0.68 divided by 6. We know that 6 ain't going in 3, correct? Correct. 6 goes in 36 how many times? 6 times. Six times. I know the other one. Uh, nine, 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 nine. How do it go in 36 times? I said 6 goes in 36 how many times? Do the times or do? Yeah, you Dominique. just said that. Dominique, six, six, six. do you really got to do all that? Yeah. It's not such a good stuff. Oh, that's four. So this doesn't work because it's point sixty one. We need it to be point sixty nine. So the correct choices are A and D. A and D. Correct. B wouldn't work, C wouldn't work, and E wouldn't work. Moving on to the next problem here. I didn't get a. You didn't get which one? I didn't get a. How y'all got a? What you do? I subtracted the uh, the six point twenty one from uh, I subtracted the four point eight three from the six point twenty one, and I got one thirty eight, and I said one thirty eight, and I just. Hold on, you did what again? I multiplied. I subtracted four point eighty three from six point twenty one, and I got one thirty eight. And so you're looking at A, right? Mm -hmm. So remember, when you put into the formula of Y over X, right? Y represents which one? Is it the pounds or the dollars? The dollars. The dollars, right? So for A, you got a dollar thirty-eight cent over how many pounds do we have? Two. 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 So when you work that out and say two divided into two thirty-eight. Sixty nine. I multiply. You can multiply too. You got me? Mm -hmm. Any questions before we move forward? There's no question? No, sir. So, you know, we talk about proportional relationships, concept of proportionality, and sometimes unit rate. You're all going to use the formula of y over x <coughs> equals k. Yep. K being the concept of proportionality. Mm -hmm. All right. We do go. Did you look at the table? Did you look at the table? We do go. Oh, you like the same. That's what we do. Oh, no, we don't got that. It don't say the same thing. We do. It don't say the same thing. That one says a farm, but this one says a uh, ice cream shop. You got that? Yeah, that's one. Okay, cool. It's a safety. Here we go. An ice cream shop uses a mix of blueberries and cherries on ice cream sundaes. The shop. Finish reading, Dominique. 
The shop has five and three four pounds of blueberries and four one pounds of cherries. The shop mixes the blueberries and cherries and use one. This ain't one tenth, right, y'all? Can you see it? One tenth pound of mix on each Sunday, which has fresh and represent the total number of Sundays. Oh the shop can't make use of all the people in church. Thank you. Good job. And it says 116, not 110. So, once again, the shop has five and three fourths pounds of blueberries and four and one half pounds of cherries. The shop mixes the blueberries and cherries and uses one. 16 pounds of the mix on each Sunday, which expression represents the total number of Sundays that the shop can make using all the, of the blueberries and cherries. All right? So you need to look at each one of these choices, A, B, C, or D, and figure out which one the shop can use. This. Now, you need to go through in the passage and underline what it says. The shop mixes the blueberries and cherries. If you mix them together, what are you doing with them? Adding. You're adding them together. So what two numbers are we going to add? Four and one half and five and three fourths. Correct. You're going to mix or add five and three fourths and four and one half. So if you look at eight, they have five and three fourths divided by one sixteenth. Is that what we just said? No. So we know that A wouldn't work. Okay? B says five and three fourths. Divided and multiplied by four and one half, so we know that wouldn't work, correct? Now, C for an example have five and three fourths plus four and one half. D has also in parentheses. So which one are we saying going to be the correct answer? C. C. Raise your hand if you say C. Well, I don't know why you write. So, right, right now, you say it's D. It's the same thing, it's, man. If it's a original, you still got to go first. It's just it's the same thing. So, but, it's, but can I, can I say that? Go ahead. Because I thought when, um, when it's first, you have to get yes, 16 divided by 5 and 16, and then you get 116 divided by 4.5. I thought you were doing like that. Say it again now. Because I thought when, when it's first like that, the 116, you have to divide it by 5 and 3 4. Like, uh, what's the S? Order of operation? Yeah. So, okay.